Happy December, sorry it took me so long to come back, but here is a gradient caviar and stud tutorial. Before you start on your gradient, make sure you tape your nails, and I showed how to do that in my previous video, which I'll have a link to. The three colors I used are Sally Henson's Lacy Lilac, China Glaze's Spontaneous, OPI's French Quarter for Your Thoughts, and as a base color, I used OPI's Do Lilac It. So what I'm doing is just taking the polishes and putting a line on aluminum foil straight across next to each other, right next to each other. And I use aluminum foil because that is the only way that I found where it doesn't dry as quick or you can also use a Ziploc bag. After I'm done putting the, a thick line of each polish, I use a toothpick to blend the edges together to make a blend effect. And then I'm going to take a makeup sponge and you'll see in a bit. I got these makeup sponges at Walgreens, $2 for a hundred of them. And I just dab it on my nail. And be sure to dab it on the same spot as before so you don't get a color on the wrong spot. Sorry I'm going so fast, um, here I'm just showing how to do it again, but for a longer tutorial on how to do gradients, you could view my previous video, I'll put the link on the bottom, but I'm just showing you guys here in fast forward mode how I finished the other nails and how I'm taking the tape off really slowly. And Again, you want to be careful to take the tape off slowly because you don't want to mess it up after taking your time to do a gradient because it's really easy to slip and mess it up and then it's hard to go back and fix it. But here I take a Q-tip and dip it in acetone and clean the rest of my fingernails on the little spots that got polished around my nail. And once you're done cleaning up, uh, you're going to take your top coat, I use such beat, and put it on top of your nail. This is going to blend the gradient really well. and the way I get my nails so shiny, a lot of people ask, is I don't just put one coat of such feet. On ingredients, I put two. And when I only paint my nails a full color, I put a big coat of such feet because I really like the shine and how perfect it looks. But the more such feet you put on top or the more top coat you put on, the more blended it's going to be. And here is another caviar tutorial. Um, I got these beads at Michael's craft store. I got a set of 15 for $10 with a coupon. And I'm going through this very fast because my previous tutorial was on gradient and caviar as well. But I just want to show you guys how I did it with three colors instead of two like my previous one. And I put a coat of polish again so it gets wet and then pour the beads over it and if you want to see how I put top coat after I put the caviar beads look at the previous tutorial because I accidentally forgot to film it on this one but I do put top coat afterwards and my caviar beads do stay on for a few days not a long time like a week but at least four to five days depending on how good I seal it and how good you press down on it because that's one tip I'll give you guys is I press down on the caviar beads after I put them on and that secures them in place and I make sure that they're even on my nail and not bumpy and one sticking out because that's when they tend to fall off and also if you do housework and a lot of bleach materials and Windex I notice that they come off way easier. So once you're done with your gradient and your caviar, this is just the order I do it in, you put your studs on and these studs are from dollarnailart.com. 
you have to spend a minimum of $25 on the site. That's the only bad part, but everything is a dollar. And I got a set of 12 colors, I believe, or I think it was 8 or 12, I'm not sure. And a lot of other things. They have studs, they have rhinestones, they have more studs. That's basically all they have, and foil and loose glitter. But I love the studs and I love the rhinestones. So I think the $25 is really worth it. But here I'm using the purple and silver ones and they have different colors. As you can see on my wheel, I have red, blue, they have pink, black, gold. But I'm using four. And the only hard part about studs is that you have to figure out how many your nail needs before you do it. So you don't really have to do it. Now I'm kind of used to it, but kind of try to measure out. Mine used four in this video. It depends how long your nails are too. And what I'm doing here is trying to get the stud on the right side up so it's easier to grab. I use tweezers because it's the easiest for me. Some people use donning tools or toothpicks, but I think it's really hard to grab onto like that. So I just use tweezers for preci precision. And I put a coat of polish on before just like I would do it with caviar because you need it to stick on really, really well because if not, the studs are going to fall in very, very quick. So after I put the coat of polish, I take the studs with my tweezers and I'm alternating colors here and you put it right at the cuticle. Don't let it touch your cuticle if you don't want to, but I just do it so that all the studs fit. If not, the edge is going to stick out of my nail and it really hurts if you touch your face or something. So be careful with that. But once I put the stud on, I push it down and you can't push it down too, too hard because it's going to look really weird. So here, as you can see, it's kind of off my nail a little, but I just push it back with the tweezers. I push everything back so that it doesn't hang off and usually it does a good job of doing that but once I'm done putting the studs on the way I put a uh, top coat on is just on the sides sometimes I put it over it but it kinda looks too shiny for me and the studs are already shiny on themselves so I just do it on the sides and it seals it better I think but here's the finished look if you guys try it tag me on Instagram or on Facebook and let me see. Thanks for watching.